What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Warrior RDA. All right, guys, I am back, and it feels great. I took all of last week off to build my very own website, dailyvape.tv. Link is right down there in the description below. Make sure you guys check it out. So the random question of the day is, what part of a kid's movie scared you the most? And I want to hear from you guys right down there in the comments box, but I'm going to go with the furnace scene from Home Alone. That definitely scared the ever-living crap out of me. I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, and, of course, it haunted my dreams for years to come after I watched that movie. But what part of a kid's movie scared you the most, I want to hear from you guys right down there in the comments box below. So we're going to be taking a look at this guy right here, the Warrior RDA by Watofo, with a big shout out and thank you going to Watofo for sending this one my way for the purpose of making this video. So this was designed by JMT Elite, which are a group of builders that just got together and wanted to do their own RDA, which is totally cool and I love the concept behind that and they also came on Vapes too to chat about it with us, which is really cool of them to do. So taking a quick look online, this device comes in six different color options for you to choose from. You have black, silver, rainbow, gunmetal, gold, and blue, and it's only going to cost you $25, which is an absolute steal if you ask me. I think that's an amazing bargain. And if you want to check out one of these for yourself, I'll leave a link to my website down there in the description below. That's where you're going to find all product links from here on out because YouTube rules. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the Warrior RDA in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging, and then we'll talk about what's inside. So first and foremost, pretty standard Watofo packaging for this one, the black and lime green. We've got Watofo.com right there, Warrior and JMT Elite. On this side here, we have the Warrior logo. This side, we've got the Watofo and all their social media stuff. Golden, which is the color indication. JMT Elite and Watofo logos again. And on this side, we have our scratch and check, UPC, and another color indication. Indication. So uh, on the back here, we have some basic information, what's in the box, some warnings, and that kind of thing there. And, you know, pretty much your standard stuff. So taking a look inside the box, let's just go ahead and shake this bad boy out of there. You know, they should really cut a little notch or something in these boxes, but you know what? That's nitpicking. Anyways, we have the cap here. And they also do this like separated cap and deck thing, which kind of confuses me. But in any case, we have this lovely cap here, as you can see with the dock style tip up there, which is really nice. As you can see, like the knurling and all that stuff. And we have the deck right here. So here is the deck, which we'll take a better look at in just a second here. No yours will not come with pre-made coils. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I built mine, which we'll be taking a look at in just a minute. And we have the 510 drip tip adapter. There you go, if you wanna use your 510 tips. And we have a little low pro gold flake tip. So yours might not come with this exact tip. It might come with like an ac acrylic swirl or something like that, but very nice little gold flake acrylic tip there. Really nice, nice stuff. So that's what's on top. Let's take a look at the what comes underneath. We have the user manual the you know warrior logo on there well let's take a look it's booklet style check all right we have big color graphics okay and we have some bigger printing so yeah ticks all the boxes for me uh with tofo you have successfully impressed me there so there we go we have the pre-made coils that come uh, with this device here you get a couple of those juggernaut coils and they, they come in these style bags with the clear backs now which is really nice compared to what they used to do with the mystery black bags but you got all the specs and everything right down there we have some with tofo cotton you get a couple of these little you know quick quick wick sort of things where you have the little shoelace at the end there and of course comes in one of these with tofo bags and we have our parts and pieces, which I have opened this one, and uh, they have spilled the entire contents into the rest of the box. Uh, you know, you just, you can, this is why we can't have nice things. We have the single coil adapter piece, which blocks off the deck if you want to use a sing this as a single coil RDA. We have a whole set of O-rings, and we have some screws and the squonk pin in the bottom. Uh, so yeah, there's the squonk pin for you. If you want to use this as a squonker, 
and of course the obligatory little black screwdriver just to cap it all off. All right guys, let's talk about the specs. It's 25 millimeters in diameter, superior stainless steel construction, dome top cap design for enhanced flavor, spacious build deck, clamp style two post design, top secured via Phillips headed screws, single or dual coil configuration, peak insulation throughout, dual multi-hole beehive style airflow, which is of course fully adjustable, comes with an 810 resin wideboard drip tip, an 810 Delrin wideboard drip drip tip and a 510 drip tip adapter. It's got a gold plated squonk uh, BF 510 pin and a standard gold plated 510 connection. All right guys, let's take a closer look at this Warrior RDA starting it off with the drip tip up top here. The nice dock style knurled tip, as you can see, low profile, wide bore, all that good stuff. You can see the bore through the top there. And underneath, no O-rings on this whatsoever. It's all friction fit, but I've never had any complaints about this whatsoever. And just to show you guys that it is in fact 810, we've got this drop dead tip and we're gonna pop it in place. Boom, no problem whatsoever, fits very, very nicely, and I've never had any issues with any sort of drip tip compatibility. Uh, so as at the top cap here, we can see this little kind of ridge, which doesn't really affect anything. I've noticed uh, certain drip tips fit down in there, certain drip tips kind of just go over the top. It doesn't really make any difference from what I can see. It also has an O-ring right down there on the inside lip. Hopefully you guys can see that, and that's what secures it into place. And like I said, I've never had any issues with wiggling or wobbling or anything like that. Here we have the warrior emblem on the front, which is a nice deep engraving, very nice touch there. On the side, we have our beehive style airflow, which is a lot of little tiny holes, very smooth, no complaints in that department. Uh, other than that, you can have your uh, airflow adjustment here, but it's very, very difficult to grip onto. So I find it a little bit easier if you just take the whole top cap section off, adjust it, and then put it into place, and then just vape on it like that until you need to change it. Here you can see the little tab that locks your top cap into place. This makes it really easy to remove your RDA from whatever you're vaping on, and never had any issues with this whatsoever. It just kind of finds the slot no problem, and you can also see the domed top cap in there, which makes for really good flavor, and of course course, the inside of your airflow control. So here's the build deck with my coil still in it. So as you can see, I went for a nice wide coil here, care of my buddy Coil Image on Instagram. Make sure you guys go check him out. He builds some really nice coils. Seven wrap aliens in this one here, three and a half millimeter. And I pulled the leads ever so slightly away from the posts just to kind of space this one out a little bit more and just use up some of that space because there is a lot to play around with with this RDA here. But uh, let's go ahead and take these coils out real quick and I'll show you the rest of the deck. So here you can see the terminals a little bit better and as you can see on the bottom here we have these little kind of ramped sections which make your coils just kind of float right inside those terminals really nicely and the actual blocks, the piece that goes down and clamps your coils into place is rounded as well. So basically anything that goes inside that terminal just kind of finds its home really, really nicely. It just kind of wants to go directly in there without any kind of fuss or anything like that. So that's really nice. And uh, the screws up top here, eh, not the greatest. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but these are the Phillips headed screws. You've got the JMT Elite logo on this side of the deck there and you have the Watofo logo on this side here, which is really nice touch. And you could also see the juice well, which is eh, it's a little bit on the shallower side, I suppose. We've got two O-rings holding the top cap on, which I've never had any issues with. And you have your little notch cut out right there that makes your cap align itself properly, which is really great. On the bottom here, we have the Warrior logo and the Watofo logo again, and a gold plated 510 connection. But that about covers everything I wanted to talk about on the Warrior RDA here. So let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The aesthetics are amazing with this one. It's got that nice kind of short and stout look to it. It's got the nice dome top cap, and it comes with two awesome drip tips. It's got this one that is a dock style tip, and the other one's gonna be either the gold flake tip that comes with the gold version or some version of like an acrylic swirl, that kind of thing. 
But with that, I really like the looks of this thing overall. I feel like it's a really nice looking device and it looks great on whatever I put it on top of. My second pro is that it's super easy to build. The guys from JMT Elite were not lying when they said this thing was incredibly easy to build. You could pretty much just close your eyes and throw your coil at the posts and it's going to be right in there, no problem. It's got these sort of little angles that kind of guide your coils directly into place, which is great. And overall, I'd say it's a very, very pleasant building experience. My third pro today is that it's gonna be great for bigger coils, not only in width, but also diameter. Now, normally I use three millimeter coils. In this particular RDA, I'm using three and a half millimeter just because I can fill up some of that space and get away with it, no problem. It's got plenty of room to spare. Not only that, as far as you builders out there that love buildings, the really wide kind of coils like three and four core fuse claptons or aliens, this is gonna be great for you people as well because it can absolutely handle a lot of big wide coils as well. And my fourth and final pro for this device is the flavor. The flavor that I get off of this thing is fantastic. And I was a little bit worried at first that the flavor was gonna be a little bit muted because of how big the chamber was. And it is true if you use two and a half millimeter coils or anything smaller like that, uh, it's gonna be a little bit on the muted side, but once you get the hang of building to kind of suit this RDA, it becomes a flavor machine. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con for this device is the screws. And I feel like with every RDA and RTA I've reviewed lately, I've complained about the screws, but with this one here, it's no exception. It has kind of inferior quality screws, in my opinion. Every time I go to build on this thing, I tend to slip and strip that screw a little bit. So as far as I'm concerned, you're gonna need that extra set of screws in the box. My second con today is that the airflow control is very difficult to turn. Now, the looks wise, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, but it lacks a little bit of functionality up at the top cap just because when it comes time to change your airflow control it's a little bit difficult to grab onto the actual top cap section in order to change it so if you want to change your airflow control my advice to you would be take off your top cap pop out the airflow control set it to where you want it and then just leave it for however long you have that set of coils in there and my third and final con for this device is that the juice well is very shallow it cannot fit a whole lot of juice in there which is a little bit unfortunate because especially when you're running three and a half millimeter coils in this thing you have a ton of wick and you just want to really just dump a bunch of juice in there but if you do that you're going to over drip it and it's going to leak everywhere and cause a big old mess same is true if you're a squonker if you press and hold your bottle down for a while it's going to fill up that juice well really quickly and come out the airflow holes So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? I'm gonna say yes to this one. This thing is a very good bargain. For $25, you get a builder's delight of an RDA. I will say, however, this is a builder's RDA. It's definitely not for the faint of heart. It's not for the people that are still learning how to build coils. This is for someone that's pretty experienced and wants to have something that they can build those crazy ridiculous coils in that make for really good Instagram pictures. But with that, in mind, yeah, it's only 25 bucks. And if you want to pick one up, like I said earlier, it's going to be on the website. Make sure you check out the link I've got right down there in the description. But that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down in the box below and make sure you check out the description of this video where you can find a link to my website as well as the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the box below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, vape on.